Being stinky is the pits. With Simply Earth's natural deodorant recipe, you can smell fresh and clean using ingredients that you feel good about. I'm Katie, co-founder of Simply Earth and certified aromatherapist, and I love teaching people how to make their own natural products that you can use every day in your home. In this video, you'll learn how to make your own natural deodorant. I love making my own natural deodorant because I save money and I feel good about the ingredients I'm using every day. We put deodorant on every day and so those toxic ingredients that come in store-bought deodorants can accumulate over time, creating long-lasting effects. Switching to a natural deodorant is one of the first non-toxic switches I recommend making. Turn off distractions, making is healing. Let's make this pioneer deodorant recipe from Simply Earth. Before I tell you what you need, I just wanna make sure you know that we at Simply Earth are obsessed with making it super easy to make your own natural products. And that's when you subscribe to our Simply Earth recipe box, you'll get the key ingredients you need to make this recipe delivered right to your door. We'll even throw in a big bonus box. This recipe comes from Simply Earth's DIY Everyday Essentials recipe box where you can make this deodorant recipe along with five other recipes. You can also find the ingredients I'm using in this recipe at simplyearth.com. I'm gonna be grabbing my ingredients from the Simply Earth recipe box. For this recipe, you're going to need three tablespoons of solid coconut oil, one tablespoon of beeswax. These ingredients are gonna be moisturizing and they're gonna create like the balm-like texture of our deodorant. We're gonna use 25 drops of Simply Earth's Focus Essential Oil Blend, five drops of patchouli, two drops of rosemary, and two drops of basil essential oils. These essential oils are going to combine to keep your armpits smelling fresh and clean. We're also going to be using two teaspoons of zinc oxide. This is non-nano zinc oxide, so it's safe. And this is our power ingredient to keep your armpits from getting stinky. They're going to help keep your armpits smelling fresh and fight that odor. You'll also need a deodorant tube. This one in our recipe box is a bottom fill deodorant tube. When you open it up, you'll find a plug that's going to go on the bottom of your deodorant. When we fill this tube, we'll place it upside down on the table, being careful not to fill past that middle insert. It's also a good idea to make sure that this insert is wound all the way to the bottom of your deodorant tube. And from your home, you will want to have five tablespoons of cornstarch. This is gonna help keep our armpits nice and dry. And for an added touch, you can add a teaspoon of kaolin clay for more absorbing powers. You could also add a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda tends to be irritating, so I kept it out of this recipe. But if you'd like some extra deodorizing power for your deodorant, you can add one teaspoon of baking soda. Let's make it. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure our deodorant tube is ready. So like I mentioned, this is a bottom fill tube. So I'm going to make sure the insert is all the way to the bottom of my tube. I'm gonna place the lid on the tube. You'll notice that there's a little insert in the cap that's going to make our deodorant have a nice rounded top, have a very professional looking deodorant at the end. I'm gonna put the lid on, then I'm gonna place it upside down. When I'm ready to pour my deodorant, I'm going to pour it into this hole, making sure not to spill it past the insert that's inside there. Otherwise, this wheel is going to be very difficult to turn. So make sure you fill it only to that inside insert. So that means there's gonna be a little bit of space when you're finished between the insert and the bottom of the tube. I'm gonna place these to the side till I'm ready to use them. Now I'm going to melt my solid coconut oil and beeswax together. So I've got three tablespoons of solid coconut oil and I'm going to add one tablespoon of beeswax. This beeswax is gonna make our deodorant nice and hard. The coconut oil makes our deodorant a spreadable consistency, so it goes on your armpits really nicely. Now I'm gonna melt the coconut oil and beeswax together. I can melt this either in a double boiler or in the microwave using short intervals. My beeswax and coconut oil are now melted, so I'm gonna add my essential oils to scent my deodorant. So I'll be adding 25 drops of Focus Essential Oil Blend, five drops of patchouli, two drops of rosemary, and two drops of basil. I'm gonna stir these together so that the essential oils are well diluted into this mixture. 
These oils combine to create a fresh and kind of herbal aroma. Two teaspoons of zinc oxide. This is our super natural deodorizing ingredient. It's also used in natural sunscreens where it kind of stays on your face and leaves that white effect. So when you use this deodorant, take a look, see if it creates that white cast before you wear a tank top or something like that so you can feel confident in your deodorant. Now I'm gonna add our cornstarch, which is going to help keep my armpits nice and dry. It also acts as a filler for this deodorant, making it softer and a good spreadable consistency. When you add this, it might start to solidify. If that happens, you can pop this back in the microwave for 30 seconds or less, or put it back in your double boiler to help it become a pourable consistency. Cornstarch has a tendency to clump, so as you're mixing it, try to smush out any of those clumps so you have a nice smooth deodorant. All right, my deodorant is now ready to pour in this cool bottom fill deodorant tube. So as I pour, I'm going to be watching through this hole, making sure it doesn't go above that middle insert. You can tap it down occasionally to help it get to the top of the tube. And if this starts to become too thick as you're pouring it, go ahead and warm it back up so that you can pour it easily. Which I'm gonna do. All right, so I filled my deodorant tube to this middle insert. Now I'm going to place the bottom plug on it and put it in the fridge to harden. And I'm gonna keep it in this position with the plug upwards while it cools. Once you get this plug on, it's pretty difficult to get off. So wait until you are done pouring to get that plug on. Now that the deodorant has totally cooled, so we can flip it over and you should have that beautiful rounded top. Let's test it out. You can use your deodorant just like you would your normal deodorant. While you were pouring, if a little bit got between that middle insert and the bottom, it might be hard to twist at first, so you might have to use a little extra muscle, but if you kept it all within there, it should spin up really easily. When you're switching from a store-bought deodorant to a natural one like this, there can be a detox period where your body needs to learn how to sweat again because most store-bought deodorants contain aluminum, which works by blocking your pores so you don't sweat keeping you from stinking. With natural deodorant, you're working with your body's natural processes. So first your body's going to need to flush out that aluminum, and during that time you might stink for a little bit. It really depends on you. Some people stink for a few weeks, some people don't stink at all. To make that detox process go a little bit quicker, you can use some kaolin clay that we have at Simply Earth. Mix it with a little bit of water and apply it to your armpits. Let it sit there for about 10 minutes and rinse it out. And that's gonna help your body naturally start that detox process and get rid of some of that aluminum buildup. I love to see your creations. So when you make your own natural deodorant with Simply Earth, take a picture, share it on social media with hashtag I made this and tag from Simply Earth. And you could win a $5 gift card to our Simply Earth store. You can learn more about this in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up and follow for more natural recipes like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our Simply Earth recipe box where you can make natural recipes like this every month.